In this week's website builder tutorial, let's take a look at how to build a website using AI. So Wix actually has a couple of different methods for you to create a new site. So when you go to Wix.com and you sort of log in or create an account, you're going to have an empty dashboard here where you can just create a new site. When we click create a new site, it's going to take us to a couple different options here. One way we can get started faster is to actually, like it says here, bring our ideas to life with AI. So we could start a chat here. You can also set up without chat and just do an AI template. But we can see here, what do we want to call our site? So down here at the bottom, we could call it um, Spencer Designs, right? I'm going to do a design portfolio site. And so I'm going to tell it, I want to call it Spencer's Designs. And then from there, it's going to say, okay, now tell me about your business. And so on the right-hand side, we'll see that we're beginning to get this site profile built out. And now I can tell it about my business a little bit. Um, I do freelance design work, for instance. And so then we'll input that. And on the back end of Wix here, this AI is deciding what type of site is going to be best for me. I do graphic design services and let's say web design services. So we'll put those two as the types of services that I offer. You can see on the right hand side, we're beginning to build that profile of my site. Do I have any specific goals for my website? Um, how about I want to create a community and also market my freelance work? Or how about freelance portfolio? So we're just telling Wix, this AI, what exactly we're using this site for. And it's going to, you know, eventually choose the best options for us to do that. And at any time, you can also skip questions or in the chat and continue. And so here, we're going to let it kind of work its magic here. And then it says, I'm all set. So we answered enough questions that it'll take us to our dashboard where we can continue the setup. So we're going to go to the dashboard. Now it's essentially generating our site for us. You saw custom imagery, custom content that we're going to be able to edit. And so now this is the site dashboard. And basically Wix has two different areas of your site, the dashboard. And so if we click up here on our site, we'll see we have this site selected. Uh, if we click explore, actually, when we get into designing it, we'll be able to look at those drop downs and go back to the dashboard. But this dashboard has a lot of settings. So on the left hand side, all the back end stuff of our website. And then, of course, the main portion here has you kind of run down through some steps, like creating a custom domain. You can buy a domain through Wix, and then also adding services, etc. But we're going to go to design site so that you can see the AI version of this site. So we're going to click that blue button that says design site. And we can either start with a template, so you can browse thousands of design templates, which is sort of how things used to be, or you can generate a design with AI. Let's go ahead and click generate a design and go down that path because this video is all about creating your first site using AI to help you. And so up here in the upper left, it says we're generating Spencer Designs, your design studio site. Once it's ready, you can click on anything and change it in the brief to adjust the content and design. So based on my profile, Spencer Designs, my design studio site will have a site structure that includes one page and the content will be based on the site description. This theme will feature classy fonts and a warm, balanced design. Uh, let's see, design in cream and black. And its layout uh, includes arches and round floating shapes. So here we go. We have this sort of beginning des uh, site that's created here. You can see there's some animation with it. You can see that maybe I said that I uh, want to market my services. And so you could like book logo design or web design with me. And maybe that's true, or maybe I wanted to design more of a portfolio site. And so, you know, I could click on these different sections potentially, or at least uh, or actually click on the different areas here like theme, for instance, and I can change the site theme up here. And so this kind of gives me some, uh, some options here. So I might say uh, I would like the site to be darker with a serif font, for instance. And so when I begin to describe that kind of stuff, I can actually edit the different areas of the site. So now it's going to regenerate the site with sort of the input that I gave it. 
And you can see here, now I have a serif font and the site has actually gotten a little bit darker, for instance. And so then we can exit out of that and we can look at these different areas. We have site profile, so we could click on site profile and we could actually adjust the site description and some of these other different contact info areas, um, this you know basic stuff that it put in here. We could even add a logo and we can apply those changes. We can click on layout, for instance, and you know maybe I don't like these arches, right? So I want to remove any arches. So you can actually like talk to the AI as if they're the designer of your site to build out your site, if that makes sense. And you kind of regenerate these layouts over and over again as many times as you want. And so we have, you know, I, I'm not going to say that this is a great design, right? You might have better or worse luck with this. But as we scroll down here, you know, it, it's okay at times. And at times it needs a lot of help. But that's all, uh, you know, in what you're giving the AI to work with a little bit as far as, uh, you know, what you said your site profile was, the structure, what it should be, uh, and also kind of the site description content. We can click little buttons like this. We can regenerate the site. We can say, hey, make it a little different. And so now it's just going to make this site a little bit different. And so you have options here of starting points to use AI to create your site. And so now it made it a little bit different. And maybe that's a little bit better. Maybe it's not a little bit better. But you can continue to edit this and make all these adjustments. You could regenerate the site. And so now it's completely regenerating the site more than just making it a little different. And we'll see how it pulls in all of this stuff. You know, it's got some different imagery in here and some different content areas. And this site is uh, now officially ready for me. And there's obviously some areas for improvement here. I think that that's, that's pretty certain. So what we can do is just continue with this design. And then from here, you know, it gives us the option to connect our domain. I'll say, no, I just want to continue to the editor. And so, like I said before, there's two halves to your site. You have the dashboard, uh, which is kind of like the back end of your site. And then you have the Wix editor. Now, the Wix editor is where you make all of your real visual changes and adding in sections and adding in uh, different widgets and different areas of your site, maybe even editing all of the text um, and the different elements here, as well as kind of designing the pages and the menu and the site structure of your site. And then if you do have a blog, uh, there's like the CMS, so like content management system, where you can actually go in and like edit your blog posts and do different things like that. But from here, we can click on the different areas of our site. Like we can see that this is a header and we can go into quick edit and we can make changes to like the strip background, for instance. You know, we could change that completely to say, you know what, I want this to be, or here we go, we can edit theme colors over here. And you can edit the different colors if you want. Um, and you should be able to edit also uh, the transparency of objects too. And so that just might be in a different area as we click on our different sections and this strip that's in here. We could actually even just remove the strip entirely. Uh, you know, right now it's in columns, but the header doesn't necessarily have to be like that. Uh, you know, you can completely change that however you would like. And there's strips and there's different sections. We can go in here and quick edit the background image. And so we can change the background image to be something totally different if we want to. Or we can even use AI here to create custom images. And so you can create an AI image out of different things. And you can come in and just completely edit and completely design and change everything you want in your site just by clicking on elements, editing them, adding them, uh, adding sections. So we click on the section button. You can see all the different sections that we have. We can add and remove. We can move sections up and down. So if we didn't even want the section with pricing, which I don't think is in here anymore, you know, we could just completely remove that section if we want to. And we can make adjustments with this. And it has some pre-built sections as well, including an AI generator. So pretty much anywhere that you find uh, areas of elements to add, you can actually use AI to add those elements for you or create custom elements for you from imagery to sections, to the entire website as a whole. Based on our experience here, you know, starting the website theme entirely with AI might be okay. It might not. It just kind of depends on how it 
ends up here in front of us, but there are a lot of other areas where we can use AI in smaller bits and pieces, and they can be really helpful tools for you here as you build your website here on Wix. So that's how you can kind of get started with a brand new website on Wix using AI.